Let me help someone. The mark of every great man of God is not at all that that man of God can be skilled and do things. Amen. That's the beginning of a gift. First you discover your gift. You have to discover your gift. That's the first level. Some of us were still discovering our gift, what God put in us. And when you discover your gift, some people, they discover their gift, they get excited. Oh, I got a gift. And they start functioning that gift. And they don't even realize that now you're functioning in your gift. That's just grace. Because every gift needs to be cultivated. So they'll function in grace, 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 and then grace runs out because how many know God puts an expiration on levels of grace so that you don't remain in the same place? He puts an expiration on it. That's why all of a sudden it was working, now it's not. How many been there? I've been there. Man, what's going on? I lost my gift. No, you didn't lose it. The Bible says he, is it saying? He's not a, the Bible says God's not an Indian giver. He's not an Indian giver. So he gave you a gift. Now it's not working. I lost my grace. No, you didn't lose it. You didn't work it. You would just function. You got comfortable in grace. You got comfortable in that level of grace. So now it's not working. And when that happened, all of a sudden you realize, like, okay. So the first level is discovering your gift. You're still in discovering it. You discovered it. You're still in the discovery, but you haven't moved to the next place. The next place. I think you could bring the uh, volume down just a little bit. The next place is becoming skilled in what God gave you. Somebody here in me. Now, I used to think that it was prideful to want to be skilled in what God gave me because that's how religion makes you feel. That's what I hear me. Well, you can see in the spirit, but you can only see this, this much. You can pray and prophesy, but you can only prophesy to this level. Anything more than that, you're just in pride. That's what I hear me. Or, or you, you can move and navigate the spiritual realm. Anything more than that is witchcraft. When the, the occult just stole what God gave to the church, we should be operating. Now we have Christians go, you have to look at the occult to see when they should be watching. You know we missed it when you see a witch and you see her functioning and we, we're amazed by it. When you should be doing greater. We're at 552? Or 552 is left. Okay, make sure you got it. Okay. We, have, we still have a $552 for our goal today. Now, they should be looking at us like what in the world amen so I used to think it was prideful to become skilled in spiritual things and it's just false humility because you just uh, it's just a result of you not knowing actually who you are in Christ and who he's called you to be yes. you don't even know what you you don't even know who you are you don't even know what you got know you're better so skillful, becoming skillful is the second level. Now, most people, they enter into the skillful level and they remain there because this next level reveals the real expression of your gift.
so then you have the person they're still in discovery level then you have a person and they start to get skillful and we see a lot of these in the church mighty men in their gift whether it's preaching teaching prophesying mighty men in their gift but you just see them because the next level is not just you being skillful but what can you impart to someone else so the sign the mark of a the mark of a man of God, a true man of God, is not that he's skilled in his gift and he can express the Spirit, but those around him express those fruits too. man of God up here shouldn't be the only one expressing the virtues of God the house should too that's how you know you're connected with a fruitful gift do you see that so I'm not the only one that can prophesy in here listen and some of y'all will prophesy better than me I hope you do it means I did my job well come on I sat in Prophet Lovey's office before we left. My wife was like, she was like, wait a minute. Pro she, said, she said, my husband wants to get a picture with you. I said, shut up. <laughs> she said, now you know we're going to get on the plane and you're going to say, I wish I got a picture with Prophet. He said, okay, man of God, come on. We, take a photo. we took a picture together. Before we left, he said, now the, the ministry I function in deliverance. That's on my life. You'll do it better than I do one day. The Lord will impart this anointing. And demons will flee. And deliverance will happen. All throughout Jimmy. Declare that over us. He said, you'll do it better than I. Because a true man of God understands that's the calling. Amen. Uh, can I prophesy? 